Hey guys, in this short video, I want to explain to you exactly how cacao powder or chocolate may be capable or responsible for boosting dopamine levels and therefore extending lifespan, improving cognitive function, and improving many other aspects of your health. For the chocolate lovers out there and anybody really familiar with the health benefits of cacao or chocolate, you're likely already aware of chocolate's number one benefit or one of its main benefit, which is its ability to boost dopamine levels. And this is an amazing quality for any natural substance to contain because there are so many, if not all age related disorders that are associated with deficient levels of dopamine. Dopamine is an important neurochemical. It is the true happy chemical that when elevated gives you a sense of pleasure, well-being, and happiness. It's responsible for the production of testosterone. It's a key cofactor in the production of a lot of androgen hormones. It is responsible for motor function and plays a key role in all aspects of cognitive function. And it can even have a beneficial effect on the complexion of your skin. Generally speaking, when we feel good, when we feel happy, when we're feeling pleasure, we get this flush, glowy, rosy complexion to our skin. And this is largely associated with elevated levels of dopamine. So dopamine is one of those key substances that is associated with health and well-being and part of the whole wellness field. It is something that tends to be deficient when we are ill, sick, and stressed. Therefore, keeping dopamine levels in an optimal range should be a goal for anybody interested in looking their best and feeling the best. Now, if you've heard that chocolate makes you feel good, or if you've ever eaten chocolate and noticed it makes you feel good, this has a lot to do with this ability to boost dopamine. Now, in the past, I've never really been able to explain exactly why or how chocolate boosts dopamine. I've just always known that it's been highly dopaminogenic, meaning that increases free dopamine in the blood. However, I've recently come across a study that might explain exactly how dopamine is increased by consuming chocolate, especially over a long duration of time. So taking a quick look at the study on the effects of long-term administration of cacao extract on cognitive performance in aged rats. What was found after one year of oral administration of cacao at a dose of 24 milligrams, which is about an ounce of chocolate, was that the mice who were supplemented with cacao powder had improved cognitive performance in various maze tests, increased lifespan, and preserved high urinary free dopamine levels. So in this study, there were two groups of mice. There were older mice who were given the cacao and then younger mice who were not given it. And they're both put through various tests and obstacles to test their cognitive abilities. And they also checked biomarkers for lifespan. And of course, they measured their dopamine blood levels. And what they found was that Although twice as old, if not two and a half times older, the mice who were given cacao performed at a cognitive level equal to the younger mice, had an increased lifespan by 11%, and actually had higher dopamine levels, dopamine levels that were akin to the dopamine levels of the younger mice. Concluding that cacao is indeed the anti-aging longevity food or superfood that has been claimed to be. So if you've ever heard the claim that eating more chocolate will make you younger and live longer, this study just goes to verify that, showing that you may live up to 11% longer if you did not consume it. Your cognitive abilities would stay preserved in, in intact as it did when you were young and that your dopamine levels would also stay in the parameters of a younger person as opposed to an older person where dopamine levels tend to decline. And this is essential not just for the anti-aging effects and qualities and the cognitive effects, but again, as I mentioned briefly, dopamine has many functions throughout the body and like the balance of androgen hormones to stress hormones in the body, high levels of dopamine are generally associated with health, youth, and well-being. Now, exactly how cacao is capable of boosting dopamine levels, therefore having these effects, comes back to its pro-metabolic effects. You see, cacao or chocolate contains a couple of substances that are known to increase the metabolic rate. For example, it contains small amounts of caffeine, which is a very pro-metabolic, metabolic boosting substance, which is something that you do want. Caffeine does not have these negative health effects like you've been told unless it's administered in abnormally unnatural high doses, which would be equivalent to you consuming like a gallon of coffee in one sitting. So overall, caffeine and coffee consumption has been associated with health. 
and that the more you consume it over the long duration of time, the healthier you're gonna be. So if you have any confusions or adversions to coffee consumption, definitely watch this video to learn more about its true effects in the science of caffeine. Otherwise, cacao's caffeine content may be a major contributing factor and one of the reasons that it's capable of boosting dopamine and the metabolic rate overall. However, cacao also contains something called bromocryptine, which is actually a medicine that refers to a group of ergot alkaloids. And these alkaloids are responsible for increasing the production of dopamine. Bromocryptine is actually one of the most commonly used dopamine agonists, meaning that increases the production of dopamine and therefore is actually used to treat a wide variety of issues associated with low dopamine. And one of its major uses is for treating hyper prolactinemia. And as I've said throughout these videos many a times, prolactin tends to rise when dopamine is low. So taking a substance like bromocryptine that would boost the production of dopamine would make it a natural antagonist to prolactin. And this is why it's used not just to treat hyperprolactinemia, dopamine deficiency, but a lot of the symptoms like infertility and sexual dysfunction as I've talked about in other videos related to erectile dysfunction and other issues with sexual dysfunction and low libido and infertility, one of the major reasons that this happens is because prolactin levels become very elevated. And prolactin levels tend to become elevated under hypothyroidism and in a dopamine deficiency. So it's likely through both its caffeine content and these ergot alkaloids or the bromocryptine that is present in cacao or chocolate that gives its amazing pro-metabolic and pro-dopamine effects. So this is really great to understand because now we know that cacao not only extends lifespan by 11%, at least in mice, and that it has an anti-aging effect on the brain in relation to cognitive function, but that it also boosts dopamine significantly, keeps your blood dopamine level very high high, akin to that when you were young, and since dopamine is responsible for regulating things like prolactin, anybody suffering from issues of elevated levels of prolactin, that could be people with hair loss, it could be people with hypothyroidism, that could be people with sexual dysfunction or erectile dysfunction, ED, any sort of infertility issues, amongst many other issues like mood and emotional imbalances, so things like depression. These are all things that cacao could be helpful in alleviating or treating naturally. So concluding this video, cacao is an anti-aging longevity substance that has the ability to boost dopamine through its caffeine content and bromocryptine content, which makes it not just an excellent dopamine boosting substance, something that can generally boost and elevate the mood, but also is going to have major systemic benefits. And we talk so often about elevated levels of prolactin and treating hair loss, PCOS, erectile dysfunction, even things like prostate cancer, which makes cacao or chocolate a very therapeutic therapeutic food or herb for treating a lot of the symptoms and health issues that are popular on this channel that we talk about. So if you're not yet already on chocolate on a regular or daily basis, remember this study found that just one ounce of daily chocolate can have these effects. So that's very easy to achieve. That's about two tablespoons of chocolate every single day or about half of an organic chocolate bar. So if you want to start reaping these benefits, I would suggest experimenting by adding one ounce of chocolate to your daily diet. Very easy to do by taking a cacao powder and just adding it to a coffee, making a mocha, or adding it to a smoothie, or again, just consuming chocolate bars. Anyways, that does bring this video to a close. If you've enjoyed it and found it insightful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. And also, if you're interested in supplementing with a high quality organic cacao powder, you can find that on our online tonic herb shop in the description box below.